Did you know that we are called to be saints? What is a saint? Well, a saint means one who is holy. But you have to admit that you have led your Christian life in just a rather mediocre fashion. You have not gone out with tremendous enthusiasm to be Christian. We are not deeply in love. So I'm going to tell you now how we grow in the love of Christ. First of all, how do we grow in relationship with any other human person? Now, you've been in love. You know the steps of love. First, knowledge. Secondly, love. And third, a new kind of knowledge. So, our attachment to any person has to begin with knowledge. Dorothy, this is Jack. That's stage one. Stage two is love, where one begins to admire the attributes and the character of the other. When a husband and wife are married for some time, there comes a new kind of knowledge. They know one another so intimately that they can almost read one another's thoughts. There's no separation. There's a unity. So the steps. Know, love, and then a deeper knowledge and understanding. Let us apply this to Christ in our sanctity. First of all, we've got to know Christ. Do you ever pick up the scriptures? Would you be able to quote, for example, the words of the Sermon on the Mount? Did you ever try to find out why he came to this earth? You and I came into this world to live. He came into it to die. Then comes the second stage, which is love. What does love mean? Love means obedience. Our blessed Lord said, If you love me, you will keep my commandments. Our blessed Lord never said, If you know my doctrine, you will do my will. He never said that. Loving is obeying. So we never think of sin as a disobedience to a law. It's hurting someone we love. That means, therefore, that in everything we do, it'll be for Christ's sake. So humdrum routine actions are all sanctified by doing them in his name. Then after the knowledge and after the obedience, then there comes the higher kind of knowledge. There is no unity closer than the mind knowing a thing. It's having the Christ spirit inside of us. And with this increased knowledge then, there comes an intimacy with our blessed Lord which is rather difficult to describe. It's a constant state of being in love. This is happiness, and there is nothing in all the world like it. Now this, my good people, is what we are called to be. Saints. And we're all within a few steps of it. It never takes much time to make us saints. It takes only much love.